<laughs> Where's the light on this? Okay, hold on one second. Let me just fix this light. Here we go. That's it. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to your club in Garda Hoxton. Trend peeps. Right, in this video, guys, a super special Monk Food Designer Collection video because we've actually been sponsored by my Teresa. For a lot of you who don't know about my Teresa, they're actually a German retailer that are doing high luxury fashion. Over the lockdown, if you guys were on our Facebook group, we actually put tons of deals from my Teresa because there were so many deals that are going on during that period. We posted a whole bunch on our Facebook group and even on our Instagram account as well. Now, a lot of our followers bought different bits from there. They had lots of off-white, Gucci, Burberry, all types of really cool brands that are on there. Now, I personally went and picked up a whole bunch of off-white hoodies. Bought one off-white hoodie, which I really, really liked, and I loved the quality of it, and I ended up going and picking up another two three more pieces. So since then, I've, I've always kept my eye on my Teresa. They're quite an underground retailer for menswear. They were only doing women's wear stuff before. As of earlier on this year, they just started to do menswear, which is really good. Their menswear collection is pretty extensive. They've got tons of Montclair, Burberry, Off-White, Amiri, all types of really cool brands. Many, many brands which I haven't mentioned. If you check out their website, you will see their brands and everything that they have available. What I want to do in this video, guys, is show you all the different jackets that I've selected from my Teresa's home have a close look and see what they're saying. Now what happened was I went onto our Facebook group and I asked the community on there what type of jackets they wanted to see. So a lot of guys wanted to see Montclair, Burberry, a little bit of Amiri, Off-White, AMI. So I thought, you know what, I'll get all these together, put them in a video and we'll do a winter wear special edition for this monthly designer collection video, okay? If you want to see more content like this, lots more monthly designer collections, because I know you love monthly designer collections, make sure to get this video to what? 200 likes, 300 likes? Guys, if you get this good video to 300 likes, I will guarantee you I will do another monthly designer collection. I want to try these jackets on, show you what they're saying, test out the fits, see what they're like, and give you my opinions and thoughts on them, okay? Make sure you follow our Instagram, Facebook group, follow my Teresa on their Instagram, and make sure to check out their website, because trust me, they do some really, really cool deals, okay? Two seconds. Even though we've just moved into autumn, I know for a fact that lots of people are getting super excited about winter wear. I mean, just like me, I love winter wear. Jackets are my thing, big, heavy knits. I mean, I guess for guys, that's where we kind of really shine, really. We just love winter wear. But don't get me wrong, during the summer, there was lots of really cool bits that people were buying. And again, this is why you need to join our Facebook group because that's where the that's where the community kind of get together and share ideas and share all that type of stuff. So make sure you check that out, okay? So let's start off with this one. Right, so that's the first one here. Is this Montclair Gillet. I'm a big fan of Montclair Gillets myself, but what I love about this one, it's got the massive big green badge on it, so that should be really cool. This one is called the Montclair Vanoir. Vanoir? Vanoir. Next piece that we got in here is this off-white jumper, which is quite nice. Another one here, which I absolutely love, is the AMI knit this is super nice it's quite heavy and i love this big logo that you see on the chest over here as well so we're going to be looking at that in more detail and trying that on one good thing that my trades are doing is they're doing free shipping on all orders for a short period of time so if you want to find out more information on the delivery you can check that out on their website also and find all the information on there as well okay right another top that i really like here is this amiri top i remember when i went to the harris outlet and i saw some amiri stuff and i felt the quality and i wasn't really feeling it i remember i mentioned in video as well that I really like the feel of the off-white and the Palm Angels hoodies. Now this hoodie here feels the same kind of quality as the Palm Angels and the off-white. It's a lot more thicker. Right, moving on to the Montclair jacket. It's got this nice Montclair here, which I'm going to be trying that on. That's a little bit different. This jacket, lots of people have been going on about this. Um, I know again from our Facebook group, like this is like the new Maya, for example, because it's just like a Maya, except it's got a permanent hood. Um, but this is called the Montclair Ekrin, so that's, that's pretty dope. One thing I am feeling is this mini large logo that you see on the uh, on the chest and that's kind of like thick bad and this one is called the Sassier. Sassier? Sassier. Right, moving on to the Burberry stuff because you don't know I love Burberry. Now I really I really like the look of this one. I'm not sure if this is gonna be for everyone, but I think with the right type of outfit this will go really well. I'm thinking like black jeans, white trainers. Yeah, I think this could really work. Nice knit underneath, I can see this working. Last but not least, we got another Burberry jacket with Burberry tartan wool inside the hood, which is really nice. What I love about Burberry as of late is a lot of their stuff is um, really kind of thick, heavy wear, which is what I really like. This one is quite a nice weight to it, and um, I'm really liking the new badge that Burberry are doing at the moment, where it says Burberry, London, England, and I think that's uh, 
That's really nice. That's like a full length parka, so I'll be showing you that in more detail as well, okay? Let's get on with the try on, try all these items and see what they say. Let's start off with the knit. Let's start off with the knit. AMI, so AMI, French brand, based over in Paris. I've been rocking AMI for quite some time and I have been telling people about AMI. They've been doing some really nice stuff. Their whole thing is kind of like a French casual, streetwear, low key kind of style. It's not really out, out there crazy. They, they don't really do crazy designs. They're more about fit. They usually tend to have more of a looser fit, which is like the, the kind of Paris streetwear style, which is really nice. But they're just a little bit more low key. And I've noticed a lot more, a lot more people are looking for more low, low key stuff than look, really looking for loud type of brands. So depending on what stage you are in your fashion, journey you might be wanting something that's just a little bit more undercover with something subtle like this nice kind of patchwork got on here so let's try this on real quick that didn't work did it okay try. okay there you go loving it already but the fit is just really nice so what i'm noticing more is you're getting more of this kind of like baggier fit now more of a loose fit seems to be at the moment and i've really been feeling that now coming from somewhere where i like things to be a bit more fitted a bit more hugging i i, I am really kind of moving into having some items that are a little bit more loose and i'm noticing brands like palm angels are starting to do like stuff like that on has got more of a looser fit which is really nice i feel this all comes from like skateboard kind of casual relaxed type of wear I'm feeling, I don't know that for a fact. I've got the Y3 hat and I think this kind of goes really well with it, so that's really nice. Well, I'm gonna keep this on to try it on the gilet. Let's try this gilet on. Right. That is really cool. Yep, super. It's got quite a lot of puffiness in it, which is quite good, so I am feeling that. I, I, I think the black and the green kind of go really well as well, so that's quite nice. And you've got the hood on there as well. So yeah, to be fair, for my Teresa, they've got an They've got a really extensive range of Montclair, all different other types of brands as well. Their ranges are quite good, but yeah, that is the Gillet, which I thought was quite cool. Right, let's move on to this Montclair piece right here. Now, to be honest with you, I wasn't really too sure how I felt about this big Montclair coming down the middle. I'm not really into oversized kind of logos much nowadays, um, but you know, I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be feeling this, and a lot of people ask me to put this one in. What I love about the zips is it's got this kind of lacquer finish on the, just on the outside, like an extra bit of material, and that's to kind of help protect the zips from the elements, from the rain. Usually when you have lacquered zips like that, but over the zip, that's to protect the zip from, from water and things like that. That might imply that the jacket is um, water repellent, but I'm not sure. Typically Montclair's are not, but this one might be. I have noted as well that the inside seems a little bit more, I don't know, I've put the material feels a little bit more premium on this one, but yeah. What I love about this one as well, it's got a little guard, so you can just put that like that. And now your neck is protected, but you can also put it up like that. Now I'm fully protected. Whew, I'm beginning to feel hot on this one already. This jacket feels really light, but it's down insulated, like I'm already starting to feel the warmth just building up on the inside. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like it's just, there's something special about this jacket, but I can't put my hand on it. It just feels a little bit different. Got a black rubber badge on there. Now, obviously that's usually white, but what is making me feel this is a little bit different and special is the badge. Right, it's called the matte black. I knew this was a little bit different. It's called the Montclair matte black. And even the label on the inside, I noticed that that's usually, um, that will usually be white, but it's like a really kind of matte, even the Montclair on there, that's kind of raised a little bit and feels a bit rubbery. So I, I had a feeling, man, that this was a little bit special. You've got some kind of lack of finish in the back of the jacket. So well, like, even inside the pockets, the material just feels a bit different. But yeah, that's quite nice. The fit on that feels quite nice. So I feel pretty happy with this one. Right, moving on to one of the most talked about Montclairs for this season is the Montclair Ekrin. Now, due to the popularity of the Montclair Maya, a lot of people um, will be looking for jackets that are quite similar to that. And this is the Montclair Ekron. From what I can see, it does actually look exactly the same. It's got the ski pass pocket on the arm, same place as where the Montclair Maya has. And also what it has is, it has a permanent hood. Whereas the Montclair Maya hood can come off. And I know sometimes that can annoy people because it's got snap buttons on the hood and that can just easily come off. But this is more of a permanent hood. And this is feeling super light. It's very puffy like the Montclair Maya. <laughs> Now, one thing I have noticed about this jacket is the hood lining, which is different from the Montclair Maya, because the Montclair Maya is not like that. It's got like an oversized edge to the hood, if you want to call it that, and it's already feeling really warm. My only issue with Montclair jackets is they're not water repellent. Now, I can't speak for the matte black one. That might be, but this one, it feels just like the Montclair Maya. I have a feeling that it's not water repellent. So when you're in the rain, you need to be careful, guys. If you get water on it, it's okay. You will get marks dry clean it, it will come out, but that's the annoying thing about the, um, the, the polyamide finish Montclair. I know a lot of people are gonna be looking to treat themselves 
for the uh, for the winter in a new jacket because people have been sending me messages telling me they're looking to purchase stuff like this. But yeah, I think it's I think it is a nice jacket. I think it is quite cool. I did like the initial design when I saw it first, but to be honest with you, when it came, I, I wasn't overly impressed with it. It just didn't feel as puffy as, as I would have liked. This is this is not as thick. This is too light for me. This for me is too light. It's too light. That's just for me. Some people want, uh, some people are actually gonna want lighter jackets and don't like the thicker jacket because they find them too warm. You know, especially if you're in a city where you're kind of hopping off buses and on the tubes, running around, whatever. Then. This might be more practical for that. It wasn't It wasn't as heavy as I would have expected. I found it a bit overly light, if I'm to be honest with you. I really like this black, this black badge. And it's nice to see Montclair move into something a little bit different than the same old badge that's on the side of the arm. They put something on the chest. Some people might miss that and might prefer that, but I think it is a nice touch. But yeah, I wasn't super excited about this one like how I was with some of the other ones. For me, I'm not really too sure, but detail's really nice because you've got these really nice, bright silver uh, buttons throughout, some nice bits of detail going throughout the jacket. Yeah, this is down insulated. It does feel warm, just not as warm as the others. Okay, let's move on. Let's try this with Mirion. I'm actually quite excited because I love hoodies. I really like this already. The only thing I find is that Amiri is quite expensive. Yeah, but I, I do like the fit. Again, it's a little bit short on the waist, but I feel like I like that. It's a bit baggy on the sides, but I like that because I think when you wear it, it just kind of rests really nicely. So I like that. The material feels really comfortable, which is really good. Um, it's just really comfy, man. I really, I really like this one. I really actually really like this one. Which I'm happy about because when I saw some Amiri stuff before, again when I was at the Harris Outlet, it, I was not really feeling the stuff that I saw there. But this one, this particular knit right here, feels really nice. Now I'm just rubbing my hand over the print because you know me, I always like to test to see if the print's going to be good quality. And this actually feels like if I washed it several times that it will stay. I did notice a print on the back of the hoodie as well. Some of these brands you might find that throughout their whole collection you might not like every single piece of that collection. You might not like some of the designs, you might not like some of the, the, the build quality but you might come across one or two pieces just like how I do off-white which you actually really like and I don't think there's anything wrong with just picking up those one or two pieces. I, I think maybe 80% of the off-white stuff I, I actually am not a fan of if I'm to be honest with you but I have found some hoodies that I really 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 like and even some footwear that I really like the look of as well. I don't think you can just knock a brand because you've seen one or two pieces and you just kind of knock it, which I've seen people kind of do, but then funny enough, I see people like before they were saying they were not feeling Palm Angels, but now I'm starting to see people posting Palm Angels on the Facebook and be like, oh, okay, I've got this top and I quite like it now. So it's funny how things can change. I'm just saying sometimes you gotta give new things to try sometimes. Not all the time, but I'm just saying sometimes. Now this off-white jumper, I'm not I'm not super excited about this one in particular. I think it's nice, but I'm not super excited about it. But let's have a look. Again, my Teresa did some crazy deals over the lockdown on off-white. I, I couldn't resist some of the deals that were on there. That's the off-white there. Do you know what? Now that I've got it on, I quite like it actually. I quite like it. Yeah, not too bad. That's the off-white. Knit. Nice, smart little knit there. Right, let me try this on. I don't think this is going to go, but I wanted to try this on with a jumper. Now what I like about the Burberry straight away is it's got some padding on the inside so it's not just a light, it's not it's not a super thick bomber but it's not light and I can feel padding on the inside so I'm happy about that. Now I know a lot of people might not be super keen on the pattern but I, I, I think it's nice, I like it. Now, I'm a big fan of Burberry, I do find their pricing quite high personally but I am a fan of the brand, I think the quality of, not again not all of their stuff but actually I think quite a lot of their stuff it's actually really good quality, it's actually very well made. I mean like now we're moving into autumn and I'm sure as we're moving into autumn towards the end of September and October as we start moving into the winter, there's gonna be some days when it's still warm so you still might want a bomber jacket. You might not want something super heavy but you might not want something super light. So something like this is a good go between for those type of days where you're still feeling like, you know what, it's not too hot, it's not too cold, you just want something kind of in between. Right, you know me man, I love parka jackets. Nice big heavyweighted parka jackets like this is my thing personally, so um, as I said before, Burberry I've been feeling quite a lot. I mean look at that on the inside, the material just looks really nice. Nice um, cotton on the inside of the, sorry, nice wool trim with the tartan Burberry print on the inside of the hood. What I like about it is very low key. Yeah. Oof. 
Mate, this feels wow. Look, I ain't gonna lie, this, this feels really nice. And I'm not just saying that, this feels really, really nice. I can see I've got a gadget pocket right here. So you can put your mobile in there or whatever it is. And there's even a little kind of um, wire hole as well. If you're old school, you still got the headphones or whatever, but that's in there. Um, you've got a nice thick pull cord on the inside of the jacket so you can draw straight at the waist. And then what I like about this is, I, I, I like it when you have a jacket like this, where you, you won't really know what it is by looking at it straight away, but then you've got nice little subtle details, like the tartan print and also the Burberry London badge inside. And then you've got the quality to match. I don't feel like I'm wearing a jacket where it's just the detail that like I don't have the quality to match. This one, I feel like I actually have the quality to match. So out of all those jackets I've actually tried on, this Burberry is actually my favorite, even with the t-shirt, I'm already starting to feel hot in this jacket. This is gonna keep you very warm in the winter. I, I think a lot of people are gonna like this one, to be honest with you. And then you've got a nice oversized hood here. Ah, uh, this jacket is wicked. This is definitely one of my favorite, hands down. This one is very nice. Very, very nice, this one. So guys, that is it. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the different pieces that I've showed you. Remember, if you like any of these pieces, all you need to do is jump onto My Teresa. We've got a link in the description box below. If you go ahead and use that link, you will go straight to My Teresa and you can do all your browsing and find all of these pieces on there as well. And also My Teresa are doing free delivery on orders over 500 pounds. Guys, that is it. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Don't forget to like, share, tell your friends. Listen, I'm out of here. I'm going to catch you again. Peace out.